when I was a young man thinking about a girl that I'd like to date, uh, if she was a little bit younger than me, I always looked back to the age difference of my parents, which is four years. And if the girl that I wanted to date was within four years of my age, I felt like that was okay. But if the age difference was greater than four, then I felt like that might be a problem. If you've ever done something similar, stay tuned. So what I want to show you is that thinking this way reveals a prejudice in your thought processes that you might not be aware of. My name is Jesse Horton for Cowboys of the Cross, and this is The Short Go. So when we do things like this, subconsciously what we're saying is that I am the normal. My family is the median. And then there's these people on the left who are a little weird, and these people on the right who are a little weird, and I'm the normal one. My family's normal. And everything that's ever happened to me is kind of the norm for life. What we know as we grow up is uh, normal is a really uh, relative term. And when we look at ourselves or our own lives and use that as the basis of how we judge other people, that creates prejudice. We look at other people from different walks of life. We don't know what they've been through and we judge them based on the decisions that they're making. When in all actuality, if we had been in their shoes for as long as they've been, we might be making the same decisions. So why, why do we have this prejudice and fail to realize it? Uh, Romans 5.12, Paul says, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men, because all sinned. And we tend to look at people who are a little different from us and say, well, I'm not as bad as they are, or at least I'm better than that. Or maybe, maybe we even take the other stance. Is maybe we look at ourselves as so far below and so far beyond God's grace. We just feel like we could never be saved. We could never be accepted. Other people are always so much better than we are. Um, both of those stances are absolutely wrong, and it's a prejudice in the way that we think. This verse in Romans tells us all have sinned. And that means that the ground is level at the foot of the cross. So no matter how bad you've been in your life, there's grace for you. And no matter how good you think you've been in your life, you need grace. You need Jesus. So come to the foot of the cross with all the rest of us sinners and realize that you need Jesus just as much as someone who's been on death row for murder. Love you guys. Hope that was encouraging for you.